It's the 28th day of June 2018. I'm coming to you from the New Vision headquarters in the capital, Kampala. I am Rafi Nasib and you are watching news around Uganda. Let's go to Namengo district where although the district passed a bylaw against child labor four years ago, children are still working in gold mines. The barefooted underage workers are always crowding mining sites at Nsango and Wude villages in the main Mayuge Busia Road. Karo Nawere Nai, the Namayungu District Education Officer, told New Vision that the state of affairs had negatively affected child school attendance. He cited the worst affected schools as Nsango, Namavudu, Mayuge, Chifuyo, and Bukoma Primary Schools. Humphrey Nangeni, Mangeni, a supervisor at the Nsango Village Roadside Mine, said management does not allow school going children at the open cast mine during the school time. Shulayati Kabona, a miner, said the young casual laborers wash the impure gold over four times to extract the powder using mercury. News coming in from Nebi district, the religious and cultural leaders in the district have asked authorities to regulate the sale of, chest, of such alcohol in the district. Primo Okumo, the zone of a catechist of Unjuki zone in Nebi district said besides killing productivity many of the such alcohol brands are on the market are dangerous to the health of the consumers especially the youth. And news from Toro district residents of Toro county have resolved to boycott participating in the forthcoming LC1 2 and women council elections until the president resolves the Toro conflict Speaking during a meeting at Mukuju County headquarters recently, the Toro County North MP Aned Nyakecho said the, re the resolution is binding with the president's pronouncement known to hold the by-elections of the district council of the district chairperson to allow him resolve the Toro conflict. The residents told the electoral commission officials not to send officials into the county and the contested Toro municipality to conduct any elections. Early last year, the residents held the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Simon Biabakama, and his entrance hostage in Mukuju when they met the residents ahead of the planned LC5 chairperson elections. The elections were eventually called off. The resident district commissioner, Martin Orochi, and leaders from Tororo County disagreed with the proposal being fronted by the district security committee to allow interested parties in the county to participate in the forthcoming LC1 to and women council elections. The leaders maintained their early position to boycott all activities of the electoral commission until government resolves the conflict between the ETSO and Japa dollar. Yeah, we continue looking at stories making headlines across the country, but let us first take a look at what is making headlines into this copy of the new vision. Our headlining story today is Kaihura forgot his job says President Yoweri Museveni. We have the story on page 7 in detail. So grab your copy of the New Vision for all the details about uh, this. Uh, moving on, other stories. We have DPP speaks out on Movit Balls and also Kasaija once officials punished. From uh, South Sudan, we have uh, Fours sign peace deal. And also we have the best and the worst districts named. Those are some of the stories you could read in detail when you buy your copy of The New Vision. Then we have government to close illegal orphanages. That is a story right here in detail. Then Queen owners Ugandan youth for innovations. We have the picture of the youth here. And then the queen is Queen Elizabeth II of England who has owned Ugandan youth for the innovations. Yeah, more stories to read. We can launch direct army on Movit Boss, uh, says the DPP, the story is right here, and then man arrested over impersonating police boss Okoth Ochola. Those are some of the stories you could read in detail. Much more stories making headlines around the nation and also uh, from the regional section. We have delay in equipping Army co uh, College, ex minister. Then climate change costing Uganda 1.2 billion shillings. That is a lot, a lot of money. 
Uh -huh. Moving on, we have comments here. We have let's stamp out fake news, uh, says the National Broadcasters Association chairperson who is Keen Kalisa. Uh, more stories uh, that you should read. Let's, let's first look at uh, what make, uh, what we have from the first the pullout. The first the pullout is the business vision and tenders. It has a very big headline here which says taxes. Taxes will curtail private sector growth, says the experts. So the story is right here in detail. So, so much is going on about the taxes. There are those that have been imposed and those that uh, people are not really, uh, you know, welcoming yet. But uh, the pullout today has details on that and also how you can go about or even how to comply on some of the taxes that were imposed uh, in the next financial year. Here we have UN opens credit office at Intelid Best. More stories to read from the business uh, pullout. Mm, let's see let's, what is making headlines still in the new vision. Yeah, don't miss Hilary by name Jisha, Dr. Love. He says funds need to learn from love. What else would you expect from the doctor of love? Okay, let's go to the sports segment where we have money is on money. Okay, this is a very interesting headline. Okay, get to know what it, uh, what it is all about. From the sports docket, we have a story here. And as I always tell you, the New Vision paper is your World Cup paper. So get details of what is happening in Russia and also analysts. We have analysts who are giving us what we should know and what we should not, you know, waste our minds and time on as World Cup goes on in Russia. So get uh, your story, get your copy of the new vision at only 2,000 shillings and we are proudly the leading daily. Yeah, let's move on to more stories making headlines across the country. Let's go to Wundubuja district where the police have attributed the high cases of murder in the district to the increasing cases of witchcraft. On Tuesday, a 74-year-old man was burned to death by a mob that suspected him of bewitching his niece who had died earlier in the day. Kamara Bakahira Abucha in Busunga town was burnt in his grass thatched house in Bubandi, Saab County. Taban Swai, the Wendewudu District Police Commander, said they had started investigations into the matter. Habat Mbabati, the area council, condemned the act and asked the police to increase their uh, sens sensitization on community policy. Yeah, finally, from Lira District, the police have impounded for lorry suspected to be loaded with a band of the rear Africana logs, commonly known as Bayo in Acholi. The district police commander, Joel Tubanone, said he acted on a tip and he accepted the trailers. Uh, uh, arresting eight uh, suspects. The government, uh, through the Ministry of Water and Environment, recently banned the cutting, transportation or sale of shea nut and of, of the rear Africana tree logs and their products because they are considered endangered tree species. Two weeks ago, the ministry urged the district leaders from northern Uganda to take center stage in protecting the environment. And that's all I had for you from me, Roy Finasage, and the New Vision TV team. Remember to get more news updates and more stories by visiting our website, www.newvision.co.ug. You can also follow us on Twitter at New Vision Y, on Facebook, The New Vision, and also our YouTube channel is The New Vision. Uh, thank you for watching. Till next time.